Evolution the change. Let's start what is evolution. Evolution is change in the heritable characteristics of biological populations over successive generations. These characteristics are the expressions of genes that are passed on from parent to offspring during reproduction. Different characteristics tend to exist within any given population as a result of mutation, genetic recombination and other sources of genetic variation. Evolution occurs when evolutionary processes such as natural selection, including sexual selection, and genetic drift act on this variation, resulting in certain characteristics becoming more common or rare within a population. It is this process of evolution that has given rise to biodiversity at every level of biological organization, including the levels of species, individual organisms and molecules. Human evolution is the evolutionary process that led to the emergence of anatomically modern humans, beginning with the evolutionary history of primates in particular genus Homo and leading to the emergence of Homo sapiens as a distinct species of the hominid family, which includes the great apes. This process involved the gradual development of traits such as human bipedalism and language, as well as interbreeding with other hominins, which indicate that human evolution was not linear but a web. Human evolution. A timeline of the near and far future. First skull evolution. The human species eventually developed a much larger brain than that of other primates typically 1,330 centimeters cube in modern humans, nearly three times the size of a chimpanzee or gorilla brain. After a period of stasis with Australopithecus and Amensis and Ardipithecus, species which had smaller brains as a result of their bipedal locomotion, the pattern of encephalization started with Homo habilis, whose 600 cm3 brain was slightly larger than that of chimpanzees. This evolution continued in Homo erectus with 800 to 1100 cm3 and reached a maximum in Neanderthals with 1200 to 1900 cm3, larger even than modern Homo sapiens. This brain increase manifested during postnatal brain growth, far exceeding that of other apes, Pterochromi. It also allowed for extended periods of social learning and language acquisition in juvenile humans, beginning as much as two million years ago. Furthermore, the changes in the structure of human brains may be even more significant than the increase in size. Second, bipedalism. Bipedalism is the basic adaptation of the hominid and is considered the main cause behind a suite of skeletal changes shared by all bipedal hominids. The earliest hominin, a presumably primitive bipedalism, is considered to be Egocelanthropus or Oroling, both of which rose some 6 to 7 million years ago. The non-bipedal knuckle walkers, the gorillas and chimpanzees, diverged from the hominin line over a period covering the same time, so Egocelanthropus or Oroling may be our last shared ancestor. Ardipithecus, a full biped, arose approximately 5.6 million years ago. Third, brain size and tooth size. The temporal lobes, which contain centers for language processing, have increased disproportionately, as has the prefrontal cortex, which has been related to complex decision-making and moderating social behavior. Encephalization has been tied to increased meat and starches in the diet, and the development of cooking, and it has been proposed that intelligence increased as a response to an increased necessity for solving social problems as human society became more complex. Changes in skull morphology, such as small or mandibles and mandible muscle attachments, allowed more room for the brain to grow. The increase in volume of the neocortex also included a rapid increase in size of the cerebellum. Its function has traditionally been associated with balance and fine motor control, but more recently with speed, speech and cognition. The great apes, including hominids, had a more pronounced cerebellum relative to the neocortex than other primates. It has been suggested that, because of its function of sensory motor control and learning complex muscular actions, the cerebellum may have underpinned human technological adaptations, including the preconditions of speech. The immediate survival advantage of encephalization is difficult to discern, as the major brain changes from Homo erectus to Homo heidelbergensis were not accompanied by major changes in technology. It has been suggested that the changes were mainly social and behavioral, including increased empathic abilities, increases in size of social groups, and increased behavioral plasticity. Encephalization may be due to dependency on calorie dense, difficult to acquire food, Fourth, other changes. A number of other changes have also characterized the evolution of humans, among them an increased importance on vision rather than smell, a longer juvenile developmental period and higher infant dependency.
a smaller gut, faster basal metabolism, loss of body hair, evolution of sweat glands, a change in the shape of the dental arcade from being U-shaped to being parabolic, development of the chin found in Homo sapiens alone, development of styloid processes, and the development of the descended larynx. Last but not least. Thank you.